Susan Telsbo. She's going to tell us a little bit about herself and give us a demo today. Hi Lorraine, nice to be here. I'm going to be uh, doing a demonstration on Judy Niemeyer's te technique for foundation paper piecing. Thank you Linda. Hey Lorraine, today I'm just going to do a quick demonstration on the basics of getting started with foundation paper piecing. Supplies we will use is a glue pen and Judy now uses the Fonz and Porter glue pen. We need a rotary cutter, our add a quarter ruler, and a template, plastic template fold back piece. I have a cutting mat, ironing board, and my iron, and my pieces have all been pre-cut. Okay, so the first part that we begin with is our very first piece, and that is identified as section one. And our first piece always goes on right side down. All the remaining pieces, when we piece them onto the flying geese unit, will go right side up. But the first piece is always right side down, and that will become apparent as we sew. I know that this is now right side down. We take and we put a little bit of glue on our first section, not a lot, it's just enough to hold and stabilize our piece so it's not moving around on us. Okay? Always put your cap back on your glue stick so it doesn't dry out. Then what we do is we will trim to a quarter inch on our first sewing line. And our first sewing line actually says line one. And our next sewing line will say line two, three, four. They're all numbered so you will not get out of place sequentially in your sewing. So I will take my template piece of plastic full back piece. You put that on the solid line one to use as a base to fold back on. You hold it in place, you take your add a quarter ruler, lay it on there, and you trim up to a quarter inch. After I've done that, I open it up to see what piece I need to sew on next. They are all numbered so you will not get out of place. It actually says template CG2. I pre-cut everything. These are my templates CG2. They are all cut right side up so I don't need to worry about where it's the right or the wrong side. And as I said in the beginning, all the rest of them will be right side up. I fold back on that line one and I line up my next piece, the sew line, which was indicated on my template here, so I don't need to worry about what the sew line is. And I line it up exactly on where I have cut for my quarter inch seam allowance. I also make sure in placing this piece that it covers the full back mirror image of the piece that I am trying to cover up next. I lay it down on my sewing machine, I flip open the papers, and get ready to stitch. On my sheet machine, I have set at about 1.8 stitches per. You want to have a shorter stitch length as it is easier to tear off the papers at the very end. Don't go too short because then it will pucker on you. And you sew directly on the line. We press where we have just sewn. After we have pressed, we will trim up our next sewing line, which is line two. So we will put our piece down, put our full back template on the solid line two. We're going to fold back and open up and trim up to a quarter inch seam allowance. And as you can see, there's the quarter inch seam allowance. My next piece to sew on is template CG3. This is template CG3, and you can see my sew line is right there. I have cut them so they're all right side up. I take my next piece and I line it up with there. I need to line it up so that the mirror image of what I my piece that I'm trying to cover that this piece behind covers it. Open it up and sew on line solid line two. After we've done that, 
we again press open and then we will continue on <clears throat> and you would take your line three which is you're going to sew on next you follow the same process over and over thank you linda thank you lorraine